Okay, so looking at this question, the first thing that I notice is that I'm given a 700 watt electric heater. So I'm gonna write that down, power is equal to 700 watts. The next piece of information that I'm given is that my mass of water is one kg. I have no energy losses, which means that this just makes this a simpler question because there's not gonna be any energy dissipated to the environment. So all the energy transferred by the electric heater is gonna be absorbed by the water. And the specific heat capacity of the water is 4.2 kilojoules per kg per Kelvin. So I'm gonna write that down, but I noticed that it's in kilojoules right here and I could make a mistake very easily with the question. So I'm gonna convert this right now to joules per kg per Kelvin. So that's 4,200 joules per kg per Kelvin. And I'm being told that I want to calculate the time. So I'm gonna just write that over here. The time is what I'm looking for. And the temperature of the water is going from 25 to 95. So delta T is always TF minus TI. So the final is 95 minus 25, which equals to 70 degrees Celsius. And that's also the same as a difference of 70 Kelvin, because a change in temperature of one degree Celsius is the same as a change in one degree Kelvin. Okay, and I'm just using Kelvin then because Kelvin is in my answer up here. So I want to calculate the time. Well, what do I know about what's actually happening here? I have an immersion heater, 700 watts, and that's being used to heat a sample of water. So energy is being transferred, Q, from the heater to the water with no loss of energy to the environment. That's why I said it makes it simpler. And so if I want to calculate the time taken for it to reach that temperature, well, I might be saying to myself, well, time is not in my specific heat capacity formula. If I write Q is equal to MC delta T. However, since I was given the power, I'd be thinking, well, what's the formula for power and how does that relate to time? And I know that power is equal to the energy transferred over time. In this case, the energy transferred is the thermal energy transferred. So that's Q divided by T. So I'm going to write my formula here. Q equals to, well, from this, Q is equal to P times T. So that's what I'm going to write. Q is equal to P times T and let that equal MC delta T. Now from there I have, well, power 700 watts times T is equal to 1 times 4200 times delta T, which is 70. And if I work all that out and simplify it, I should get a time of... 420 seconds. Now I notice that that's not any of my answers and I could easily get mixed up here and write down D because I see 420. But I recognize that if I used SI units in all my values here, which I did, then my answer will be in SI units. So my answer is in seconds. So if I want to get that in minutes, which is what my other option is for my answer over here, I know it's not A or B, it's not seven or 30 seconds. So what is it in minutes, 420? Divided by 60 is seven minutes. And so I know that my correct answer should be C.